episode and um, we were encouraged by all the positive feedback from the first video that we put out a couple weeks ago um, and thank you for those of you who submitted questions and we're going to answer some of those at the end of this one as well uh, but just a real quick introduction to start us off um, my name is Christy Rose and this is my mom Judy Rose and um, my mom um, homeschooled uh, seven kids over 27 years and was a pastor's wife for many years so it has just a lot of uh, practical wisdom and insight to share and um, is we're making these videos together um, uh, just to document that and as a way to share it to encourage other young moms and uh, wives as well so I'll turn it over to you mom to introduce the topic today all right, the topic today is mornings. Mornings can sometimes be especially difficult for young mothers um, and homeschooling mothers because you want to get the day going and started right. At our home, we wanted the children to be at the table, ready to uh, start the day, dressed and their hair combed and, and the beds made. So what we did was we started the Good Morning Five. And when they were young, the Good Morning Five consisted of the first thing they did was they made their bed. The second thing was that they um, put their, uh, they got dressed. The third was they put their pajamas away. And fourth, combed their hair. And the fifth is they came to breakfast with a smile. Well, um, those were all good things, and, and um, we uh, kept doing that, but I kind of felt like as I was making breakfast, and it was a busy time, that I was having to um, coax them and remind them and uh, um, get them to hurry up because uh, we wanted breakfast at 7.30. And so um, I felt like a plate spinner in the circus where you're trying to keep everybody else going and yourself on track too. So one night I was asking the Lord, I said, Lord, I feel like they're hearing my voice and my coaxing too many times in the morning before we even start our lessons. And I just need a loving way to deal with that and, and also to help a child to be independent when I know he, he's um, asked to do something that I know he can do by himself. And so the next morning I woke up and I didn't even pause to think, but two ideas were in my brain and, and I was thankful for that. And so I went into the children's room and I took a timer, one of these timers that has a little prolonged ring, nice and loud, and I set it for 30 minutes and I says, okay, everyone, it's time to get up and you have 30 minutes to do your good morning five. That's plenty of time. So. If you can't make it in 30 minutes, I'll realize that you're ex extra tired. So we'll get make sure you get to bed early tonight. Well, it was fun because by the time they the timer ring, they were all sitting at the table with big smiles. <laughs> and so it kind of helped them to be on automatic pilot. And um, one child uh, was a late starter and wanted help getting dressed in the mornings. And I knew that he could dress himself, so I thought, you know, each morning I'd say, no, you can do that. I know you can do that. Well, this morning after I started the timer, this child wanted help again, and I said, well, I'd be glad to help, but first I think you got to know a new policy we have in our home. And he says, what's that? And I says, well, if you're young enough to help, need help getting dressed, then you're young enough to still need a nap. Well, he thought about that for a few seconds and decided he didn't need help. So that solved that problem in, um, in a simple way. And I just want, encourage you to ask the Lord for wisdom uh, when, um, when things come up like that. Now, once your children get a little older, eight and up, you're going to want to add other things, maybe feed a pet uh, or um, set the table or help a younger sibling. So um, you'll adapt those to your needs, and I hope this helps. And um, yeah, if I could just say add to that uh, real quick that uh, we had the Good Morning Five. My mom put it on a poster board in a hallway that was a high traffic area for us, and 
um, she had pictures and um, with the with the descriptions of the Good Morning Five, so we knew exactly what to do in the morning. And once again, the structure didn't feel restrictive to us. It was helpful for us as children to have structure and to know um, what was expected and to know where the lines were and probably helpful in discipline too when you have clear uh, things for the children and clear guidelines um, to help the day. Um, but we're going to transition into some of the questions that were submitted and we're not going to be able to get to all of them today but we're going to try to do two. And the first question we got from a, a mom was how do you handle when your children ask the why question all day and um, do you respond every time with um, a description of why? <laughs> I don't know, an answer, an answer of why you're doing what you're doing or why there's a rule for that. Okay, good question. All young mothers of young children can understand that question. I would say perceive if this is just um, not wanting to follow instructions unless you uh, uh, help them to just understand all the reasons. A young child is too young to really um, depend on um, reasons in his own mind. So help him know that you can talk about it later or when he's older, but right now he needs to just trust you that you want the best for him and you want him to grow in wisdom and stature and favor with God and man. And many of the questions will be curiosity questions. Um, children love to uh, figure everything out or ask. It's a, an interesting time. It's just a season of their life. And I would say, um, even though it is um, difficult to always come up with all the answers, just relish in the idea that God has put you in the position to set their attitudes and their enthusiasm and their wonder of God's creation and, and their attitudes about what is um, uh, good to do. And, and um, so I would just say, that's going to pass fast. They won't always come to you with all their questions. So enjoy it. The season will pass faster than you realize. And I, th I think, too, my mom and dad were good as a team on that front. Um, because if my mom didn't know the answer, she would say, oh, go ask your dad. or um, And send all the, if we had any questions about history or anything that, he, that she knew my dad was especially uh, knowledgeable in she would mm -hmm. uh, refer those questions to him. So, so the uh, second question is, um, and I think this one is especially good for my mom to answer because she did raise five boys. Um, mm -hmm. So the question is, how do you allow boys to enjoy uh, their rough and tumble play, but also train them to be gentle as well? Okay, that's a good question, and yes, we had five boys, and they were um, a delight, but there's a difference there. I taught first and second grade before I um, met my husband, and so um, I was very um, aware that boys develop their fine motor skills a little bit later than girls typically, but um, they do catch up uh, at the right time. and. When we had boys, I told them that um, that God is spending more time on their big muscles um, first because he wants them to, to be strong and, and to grow up to be uh, protectors of people that are weak and to be a provider and uh, to use their strength to benefit um, people that are um, weak or sick or need help in those areas and for the girls and ladies in their life. So um, that was um, the attitude that we portrayed to them and um, give your sons opportunities to serve. They might be helping uh, do lawn care or take out trash or help in a lot of ways. Maybe somebody that's a shut-in in your church or a neighbor or um, their grandmothers just give give them the um, just the delight of using their God-given strength to be a benefit from a pretty young age. 
And that would be my answer there. And being the one of the girls in the family, um, <laughs> I never felt um, like I was in danger of my brothers and um, always felt very protected and still do to this day. So mm. I was a, uh, I definitely benefited from that teaching. So mm. thanks, Mom. Okay. And uh, we're going to try to do one of these videos about once every two weeks or so. So please uh, keep the questions coming. And if the question, I guess, is a little more detailed, uh, we might do a full video on that in the future. Um, so thank you for the encouragement at once again. Mm -hmm. and, and I think mm -hmm. next session, uh, one thing that's on my heart uh, to help mothers with is to help to train your children uh, to grow in their uh, self-control. So um, maybe we can do that in a couple of weeks. All right. All right. Well, thank you. And um, thank you, Mom. And I hope you all have a great week.